Hey guys, it's Julia here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a recovery USB for your Microsoft Surface. So, in this scenario, I have a Surface Pro 3 that I want to restore the OEM image to, which Microsoft does let you download them. If you just search like Surface Recovery Download and you give them your serial number, they'll actually provide you with a download that you can, you know, use for your Surface. So, Obviously, that's the first step. Get the actual media from Microsoft. Once you do that, you can create the actual recovery drive. So here, I am pulled up the instructions from Microsoft just to reference. Obviously, I know 8.1 ended, but honestly, I wanted Windows 8.1 for nostalgia reasons. So, yeah. Um, anyways, they say that to create, you have to create a recovery drive. So first you need to actually format the drive as FAT32. So be sure to plug in the USB that you wanna use, which in this case, I have this blank USB right here. There's nothing on it. I'm going to right click it, I'm gonna format it. Also make sure it's at least a big enough size. I recommend 32 gigs, it's probably required. I don't know, they probably say the size, but FAT32 is what we wanna format it as. And then start, yes, this will erase all data on my USB, fine by me, and it's complete. So now we have our USB as FAT32, so if I right click this, we're in FAT32, so we're good. And then after that, obviously you don't have to do this on the surface itself, but I'm choosing just to do it on my computer, it's easier, so create a recovery drive. So I'm just gonna search recovery drive. So click yes on the prompt. Okay. Okay, so here is actually where you download the recovery images, which I already had done this. And I think in order to get the instructions, I'd have to give all this information again, which I don't really want to do, but I'm pretty sure I've done this before, so I know what I'm doing. So you are going to go back to the recovery drive um, thing but we are not going to back up system files to the recovery drive. Excuse me? What do you mean you can't create a recovery drive? Are you freaking serious? Ugh. All right, guys, so I have the surface right here. We're just gonna create the recovery drive on that because my computer is not letting me for some reason, so. As I said, be sure that your USB is formatted as FAT32. So our USB is formatted as FAT32. Okay. Once you do that, we got to search um, recovery drive. So let me touch keyboard. Um, recovery. If I can type. Recovery drive. We want to open that. Okay. Once you have this open, it'll let you create a recovery drive. So we're gonna uncheck backup system files because we have to copy the files to the USB. So hit next. And this looks like it is working, so that's good. So then it tells us to select our USB, which we have it selected. And that is the USB, as you guys know. So next. Obviously it's going to delete everything, but as you guys can see, if I reopen this PC, there's nothing on it anyway, so we're fine. So create. And now we are creating our recovery drive. So basically you'll just let this create. When it's done, I'm gonna put this back in my computer and we're actually going to copy the files to it. And then we should be able to, you know, go ahead with the restore. So we just gotta wait for this. It's copying the stuff. It doesn't take very long to create this, especially because I unchecked that box which you have to uncheck it because we're gonna be copying the files to it. We don't wanna use necessarily the files from it. So we want to copy them. All right, our USB drive is ready. So I'm going to obviously eject it. So we might have to go up here, eject, and then I can pull this out. With our USB back in, you can see we do have, you know, some very basic folders here. Now what we're gonna do is I'm going to extract this. So we got to extract it to a folder because we are going to be dumping the contents onto the USB. And then from there, we should be able to 
boot it, and actually, you know, restore it. Okay, so now we have our surface media extracted. We should be able to just dump everything over to our recovery drive. This may take a bit of time to copy depending on how fast your USB stick is. So just be patient, give it time, and let it copy the files. Could take a bit of time, but you just gotta wait. Okay, I forgot if you actually like replace this stuff or not, but I'm just gonna tell it to replace the stuff because it's not gonna like hurt anything anyway. Alright, so there we go. Now, we should be able to um, eject this. There we go. I can close this out. And then we should be able to try to boot this on the surface. So I'll pull this out. Back over to the surface though, one interesting thing about the surface I actually just got. Um, if I go to performance, we have an uptime of 157 days. This thing has been on for 157 days, which I find crazy. And the fact that it also wants to, um, it wants to update, which is obvious. However, the weird part is that it's from September. So it's trying to do an update from September, which I find kind of interesting. Obviously this is getting wiped anyway, so it doesn't really matter to update it. Although I think to reboot, it's gonna force us to. So I'm just going to let it update and reboot so that way we can actually reboot the system normally when I'm actually doing this because obviously I want to be able to create the drive over here and um, be able to reboot it normally to actually boot our media even though it doesn't matter to update this because obviously this is uh, getting wiped anyway. So we're gonna plug in our recovery drive and we are going to reboot the surface, which in most scenarios, you'll end up holding, um, the volume down is what boots USBs. So we're gonna hold volume down while it's booting and it should boot our USB. I assume that this one's the same as my other ones, although I'm not sure if that even worked. No, it did not. It might be volume up. So let's try volume up. And then imagine that doesn't work. Of course it doesn't work. You got to go to the recovery menu. So settings, update security, and then you're gonna go to recovery and then click advanced startup restart now. And once we do this, we should be able to boot the USB this way. So use a device. Okay, there's three of them. I don't know why there's three of them, but we'll just go with the first one. Of course it didn't work. So guys, back on use a device. There's only one device when I tried it again. So maybe it will now finally boot our recovery USB because it's not showing three devices anymore. I have no idea why it was showing three. I think it was just a bug, but if this boots, I'll be happy. But knowing my luck, it probably won't boot. Oh, it did. Okay, perfect, hold on. Okay, once you have your recover USB booted, here it's asking to choose a language. Obviously we have English, Spanish, and French. Obviously English in this scenario, but whatever language you are, put US for, for me at least. And then here we're going to go to troubleshoot, I think, where do you do it? Reset, I think. Um, and I think it'll use the recovery drive. Usually it'll have an option that says like recover, but it doesn't, so. Um, sure. Hopefully this works. Okay. So we're resetting it and I'm hoping it uses this and it doesn't like use what's already on here or I'm gonna be very annoyed. So we're resetting the PC now. Oh boy. Hopefully this works guys. I've never done it on a Surface 3. I've done it on 
the five. Actually, I might have done it on a, I did do it actually, I think on my, well, I had a Surface 3 back then. This is a Pro 3, but hopefully this works. So once you do this, we will see. I think it is going from the drive because it's taking a while. So I'm just gonna wait and come back. So it finished and now it's uh, giving me this screen saying it's gotta clear the TPM. How do I do that? It says uh, press escape, I think. Yeah. I'm not gonna, I think that got out of it, which I'm just gonna get out of it to be honest. What is it doing? Is it, did this actually work? Hopefully this is 8.1 and uh, not 10. So we're getting devices ready. Why does it look like that? Probably looks like that because of that weird BIOS thing. Getting ready. I don't think we need this anymore, but honestly, I'm just gonna keep it in because. All right, guys, so we're finally in the setup. You guys can see it worked. So we want English and you select all your stuff. We got our license terms for Windows 8.1 Pro here. What? I don't have the pen. I, I don't have the pen. I can't do this setup. Mine didn't come with it, so. Okay, I can skip it. Good, because I don't have that. Okay, PC name. Um, I didn't asset tag it yet, so I'm just gonna name this Surface 3 for now. I, I spelt it wrong, so we'll just do that for now. And, um, Let's see what color. You know, I did like the purple it did, but let's do this purple. Um, gonna skip the internet for now. Express, uh, that's fine. Fine. Except I'm gonna turn all this off. I'm gonna put my name. Okay, we're good. And uh, pretty much at this point, what you wanna do after you reset your surface and go through setup is uh, run Windows updates. And I know on 8.1, you might have to install like another update to fix it. If you do 8.1, it might work out of the box though. Um, I'll leave you guys some updates. Um, I'll have a follow-up video, but I just wanted to show you guys how to actually do this process. So let's just wait. And there we have it, guys. Windows 8.1 on a Surface. It's wonderful. It's mad about something, though. That's not good. There's an exclamation point on the disk for some reason. Probably, I think that's BitLocker related, but hey, it works. So yeah. There we have it. Well guys, this is interesting. So I'm now recording this video in early July as I forgot to make the follow-up video and I got really busy with other videos and other projects. And now I'm back with the Surface Pro 3 and I just pulled it out and plugged it in. I left it plugged in for a while. And when I went to turn it back on, I was greeted with this. I don't know why it's in the BIOS. I never even pushed the key. I just held the power button to turn it on and it just went here. I have no idea why. Maybe it just glitched or thought I pushed something, but let's exit the setup because obviously I don't want to be in the BIOS. Um, super weird, but anyways, I just want to let you guys know, which there we go, it's booting now. Um, that I did get the Surface fully up to date. I got all my applications installed on it and everything working. So this Surface Pro 3 works. It's just gonna take a bit to boot because I believe it died. Um, I don't know why it's restarting again, but I believe it died because I forgot about it and left it on and it was dead for a few months. And yeah, that's that, but I'm glad I have a Windows 8.1 device around now, because honestly, Windows 8.1, I still think is solid, especially for these Surface tablets. I think it just fits. 
and I think that it's actually still a good OS now, even though it doesn't get updates anymore and stuff. Like, it's not like I'm using this on a daily basis or anything, which I don't know why it said working on updates because I already updated this. In fact, I found a way to get ESU on it, but unfortunately I cannot disclose that in this video, but it should have updates up to April, I believe. So I need to probably update it again. But you guys will see that this is the tablet and I just installed like a basic software set on here and it's actually a pretty nice tablet to use and I never showed the system properties. So I'm gonna show you guys the system properties here. So you guys will see we have Windows 8.1 Pro, the i5-4300U at 1.90 gigahertz, but it can go up to 2.50 gigahertz. And this is the eight gig of RAM model. So I believe that the storage is also higher. I don't remember the storage amount, but we can check here. Oh, so we might actually have a 256 because it's out of 232, which I don't know why it still has the exclamation point on the C drive. I think it has to do with BitLocker. I said that earlier, but I kind of just ignored it, but it's not happy about something clearly. And I don't know why, but I just not going to worry about it. There's nothing important on here at all. It's just an install of 8.1 with some apps. So something special. Yes, I did indeed get the OEM image on here from this video, which by the way, um, I was following the instructions in the beginning on creating the recovery drive because that was one of the steps you had to do. I don't know how I ended up on that page. I might've clicked a link or something, but I will provide the link to the surface image downloads. And after you, you know, put your serial number in for your Surface Pro 3 or whatever Surface device you have, it does give you the images, but it also gives you instructions there too. So you guys can follow the instructions there. However, what I did in this video is what you'll end up doing. However, I think on the newer Surfaces, you'll get a recover from this drive option or whatever. And I did show that on my video, the Surface Pro 5s I got in that lot and on my Surface Pro 6. But if you're doing 8.1, you do have to actually go to reset. So I still don't know why it took forever to get the USB to boot. Like I ended up doing the, um, what's it called? The restarting into recovery, or you could hold shift while you click restart to also get you to the recovery options. And I believe I just did use a device again and it was normal. So I guess it just took a few tries, but honestly, that's probably the best way to do it. The key combos I feel like should have worked, but they were not working for me. I don't know why, maybe I was doing it wrong. But anywho, honestly, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. I do have, you know, more videos coming up. Um, I can't guarantee that I'm going to have like a lot of videos this month. I do have things coming up, but I'm gonna try my best to get at least a couple uploads this month. So yeah. Anyways, um, thanks for watching this video. Also, thanks to my channel members, which are Samir Yoshizawa, The Full Moon, Christian1739, Overgreen, Stratech8, Zygvlogs, DJ1928, Tencorn, Cyclone, Glob, Star, Aqua, Ritu, Mike Rea, Chris Garrett, Zach's Tech Place, Caden on 30 FPS, along with everyone else here on this list. I really appreciate you guys' support and help me make these awesome videos, which I really enjoy doing. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Anyways, guys, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys have a good one and bye-bye for now.